In this video, I'm going to be talking all about leptin supplements. I'm going to share with you what they are, what they do, do they work, and provide some other supplements that are very similar. Before I get started, down below there's a link where if you click on it, I'm giving away a free video-based guide about using various supplements and, and herbal medicines. Now, leptin is a hormone, and what that means is it travels around the body telling other people what to do, just like a manager at like this manufacturing plant. Now, there's, the fascinating thing with leptin is this stuff is actually created within your stored fat. I bet you envision stored fat almost like a garage filled with useless stuff, right? Now, the job of leptin is to travel to the brain and tell it you know, how many calories are being stored uh, for a rainy day, whether it should be eating more or whatnot. Now, let me ask you, what would you think would happen if leptin didn't do its job correctly? Yeah, exactly. Someone would eat too much food or too little food. It's like a, a gas gauge in your automobile. Without that little gauge that tells you how much fuel you have, you don't know how much gas is in the car. It would just run out of gas. Now, when this hormone was first uncovered in the 1990s, scientists were jumping for joy like, yeah. Many of them had this theory that if you just gave this hormone to people that are obese and overweight, you know, basically more of this hormone, it would travel the brain and tell it, hey, stop eating. There's enough food here. Who knows? Perhaps that's the reason the root cause of obesity, you know, in developing countries. Um, so web, start, web starts started popping up, and right now there are as many internet websites selling leptin as there are cats in retirement communities. Now the problem is that if you give lepton, leptin to a person, it, it doesn't help them lose weight or really do any good. Um, unfortunately, that's, that's just what it is. Okay. Now there's a very, very tiny majority of people in the world where their bodies don't make any leptin, and in that case a leptin supplement can't be helpful. But for the average person, you, me, you know, this supplement is not going to help us. That's the truth. However, there is actually some good news. There actually are supplements that can help with the weight loss. And uh, I'm going to share what well, one example would be like a multivitamin. Now, the reason a multivitamin can help somebody lose weight is because when someone has all the vitamins, minerals they need, their body doesn't go into this survival mode that wants to look for it. And studies actually show this, prove that. Researchers at uh, La Laval University found a, a study that people who had good vitamin and mineral levels had an easier time managing their weight. And it does make some sense. And of course, any supplement that helps with increasing metabolism is going to help somebody with weight loss. Now, metabolism enables someone to burn off more calories doing less work. It's the reason why when you're a kid, you probably eat all this garbage and you're still somewhat thin, right? At least that's how I was. My brother was this way, was that way for a long time because he had a high metabolism. And the supplements, for example, like green tea has increased somebody's metabolism. There's some other ones out there too. There's worth some other supplements. And if you're interested in supplements to improve your health, like I did mention earlier, I do have this whole video-based guide and report uh, that can really simplify the process and make it easier because, let's be honest, supplements can be confusing and the whole industry is unregulated in so many countries and this means that, well, the only person really looking out for you is, is really you because the government doesn't have all this money and resources to test all these products before they're sold, unlike some things like pharmaceutical drugs and whatnot. So, I highly recommend you check out this free guide and give you some great ideas about supplements, herbs, and alternative medicine. I hope this video was helpful. Please leave a comment with any thoughts. And until next time, cheers and take care of yourself.